Epitope, Wikipedia Audio An epitope, also known as antigenic determinant, is the part of an antigen that is recognized by the immune system, specifically by antibodies, B cells, or T cells. For example, the epitope is the specific piece of the antigen to which an antibody binds. The part of an antibody that binds to the epitope is called a paratope. Although epitopes are usually non-self proteins, sequences derived from the host that can be recognized are also epitopes. The epitopes of protein antigens are divided into two categories, conformational epitopes and linear epitopes, based on their structure and interaction with the paratope. A conformational epitope is composed of discontinuous sections of the antigen's amino acid sequence. These epitopes interact with the paratope based on the 3D surface features and shape or tertiary structure of the antigen. The proportion of epitopes that are conformational is unknown. By contrast, linear epitopes interact with the paratope based on their primary structure. A linear epitope is formed by a continuous sequence of amino acids from the antigen. Function T-cell epitopes are presented on the surface of an antigen-presenting cell, where they are bound to MHC molecules. In humans, professional antigen-presenting cells are specialized to present MHC class II peptides, whereas most nucleated somatic cells present MHC class I peptides. T-cell epitopes presented by MHC class I molecules are typically peptides between 8 and 11 amino acids in length, whereas MHC class II molecules present longer peptides, 13 to 17 amino acids in length and non-classical MHC molecules also present non-peptidic epitopes such as glycolipids. Epitopes are sometimes cross-reactive. This property is exploited by the immune system in regulation by anti-idiotypic antibodies. If an antibody binds to an antigen's epitope, the paratope could become the epitope for another antibody that will then bind to it. If this second antibody is of IgM class, its binding can upregulate the immune response, if the second antibody is of IgG class, its binding can downregulate the immune response. Epitopes can be mapped using protein microarrays, and with the ELISPOT or ELISA techniques. Another technique involves high-throughput mutagenesis an epitope mapping strategy developed to improve rapid mapping of conformational epitopes on structurally complex proteins. MHC class I and II epitopes can be reliably predicted by computational means alone, although not all in silico T-cell epitope prediction algorithms are equivalent in their accuracy. Epitopes are often used in proteomics and the study of other gene products. Using recombinant DNA techniques genetic sequences coding for epitopes that are recognized by common antibodies can be fused to the gene. Following synthesis, the resulting epitope tag allows the antibody to find the protein or other gene product enabling lab techniques for localization, purification, and further molecular characterization. Common epitopes used for this purpose are MIC tag, HA tag, FLAG tag, GST tag, 6XHIS and ALAS. Peptides can also be bound by proteins that form covalent bonds to the peptide, allowing irreversible immobilization. These strategies have also been successfully applied to the development of epitope-focused vaccine design. A neoantigenic determinant is an epitope on a neoantigen, which is a newly formed antigen that has not been previously recognized by the immune system. Neoantigens are often associated with tumor antigen S and are found in oncogenic cells. Neoantigens and, 
by extension, neoantigenic determinants can be formed when a protein undergoes further modification within a biochemical pathway such as glycosylation, phosphorylation, or proteolysis. This, by altering the structure of the protein, can produce new epitopes that are called neoantigenic determinants as they give rise to new antigenic determinants. Recognition requires separate, specific antibodies. T-cell epitopes Cross-activity Epitope mapping Epitope tags Neoantigenic determinant Epitope prediction methods Epitope databases